Greetings Twin Flames, this is Lucid of Twin Flame Rx and I'm here on Monday, December 11th, 2017 with a weekly reading for you on your divine journey. So this reading will cover from Monday, December 11th to Saturday, December 16th, 2017. We're going to start with the positive affirmation from the Louise Hay I Can Do It calendar. It states, it is okay to be lonely now and then. We use our alone time to dream positive dreams about our future. So today... This evening, as the gateway opens for 1212 and brings in all that positive energy for us to be further awakened, to come into union with our beloved, hopefully, to prepare for the winter solstice on 1221, to get ready for the new year coming up, a two year, which means union. Let us remember this positive affirmation that it's okay for us to spend time alone in solitude so that we can get our thoughts together and get ready for these beautiful energies that are going to help us along on our journey. So what I did for today was I prayed, meditated, and shuffled. I do have the Crystal Angel Oracle cards here. I have a 5D message and a 3D message for both the Divine Feminine, the Masculine, and then the Union, and also a Archangel Michael and Quan message to close out the reading. So what we're going to do now is shuffle. So I'm shuffling the Zach Wong Revelations to row while I say thank you to all those that watch. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks to those that also follow on social media. All the sites we're on are listed below where I do daily card readings, mainly on Twitter. And um, I share those on the other sites as well. If you'd like to book a private video reading, the option for that's in the description box. In my Etsy shop, I do have a channeled message that you can order. So this channeled message will be from your beloved's higher self to you. And in the two links in the description box below, you can find me on chat. So if you're having an emergency and you're twin flame dynamic, I'm available every day. Just connect to me live and we can chat about it. So I do a reading in the chat. It's not just talking or, you know, advice. It's an actual reading. I can also um, facilitate a heart to heart session between yourself and your beloved during our reading, as well as healing sessions in those chats as well. With the new year, there's going to be a lot of positive changes coming with the website and different ways to connect with me. All right. So I've shuffled these cards enough. I'm going to cut the deck and we'll look at the bottom of the energy. This is the overall energy for us. So we're in a five energy, an energy of change, but the Hierophant is a spiritual master and that's what us twins are. All twins on this journey are spiritual masters in training and that's the energy we're in for this upcoming week. I'm going to do a tarot card for each polarity the divine masculine, the feminine, and the union. We'll just get one energy for each for this upcoming week. We have the 1212 gateway coming up, so I'll probably do a separate reading for that tomorrow. And I'd like to let you know that this reading is a day late because of some negative energy that I was picking up on. It was coming to me directly and from other sources. I do want to say that I do not get into any um, he said, she said, or putting down other readers, healers, and teachers. But I have been told some things from clients that other healers, readers, and teachers have said about me. So I'd like to just say that if that is the way that you feel about me, if you are calling yourself a reader, a healer, a teacher, please discuss with me, okay? Because I am only here on this journey alongside each and every one of you that is truly a twin flame. And my beloved and I are working toward union. We do get arrows of jealousy and different negative energies coming at us. Um, also, I pick up a lot of negative energy from the clients. So yesterday I was just, I had to tap out, you know, for a while and I couldn't get this reading done because I had to cleanse myself of all the negativity that was coming my way. So, with that being said, um, I am going to start the reading here. Let's start with the 
Divine Masculine for today. So the energy of the Divine Masculine is interesting energy. So the Divine Masculine here is the Five of Swords. So they can either stab themselves and release them well they can either stab themselves with their negative thoughts or they can cut through those bindings that are keeping them in a bad pattern of negative thinking so i believe that most divine masculines are going to choose to get out of that pattern of negative thinking and start thinking positive about this journey that's what the gateway is going to help them with now we have here the 5d energy using these crystal angel cards so there's a lot of heart healing going on at the soul and heart level for the Divine Masculine with all the green in the card and the jade. And the Divine Masculine soul and spirit is in the energy of recovering um, and wellness. So making sure that their spirit is well because the spirit comes first. That energy is what fuels the energy of the mind and the body. So there's healing going on on the heart and soul level for the Divine Masculine. On the 3D level, their mind is understanding at this time, this week, they're going to come into the understanding of this aqua aura where healthy communication and relationships is what's going to bring them closer into union with their beloved. So heart-to-heart -heart discussions and clear assertive communication are going to help them understand and be understood. So I take that to mean that they're going to start realizing that they do need to open up and express their true feelings and thoughts and desires, either in a message, um, if you're only in 5D communication, it'll get stronger. So there will be communication from the beloved in some way, shape, or form from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine about this journey this week. Okay, and we have for the Divine Feminine, the Queen of Swords energy. So definitely learning how to master negative thoughts that come up, how to cut those negative thoughts away, and how to keep them at bay. She's holding the sword, deflecting negativity, letting it bounce off of her, not stick to her. Her soul, the Divine Feminine, his or her, her soul energy is the Titanium Rainbow Quartz. It's a multifaceted type of stone. Um, the soul of the Divine Feminine is realizing that there are many layers and dimensions to the situation or the person they're asking about. So they're starting to think about this journey on more than just the 3D level to see it as not just a 4D, not just a 5D, but we can go all the way up to 12D, 13D. There's many dimensions and possibilities where we're playing out different scenarios with our beloved right now. The 3D energy for the Divine Feminine twin is the Rubelite. So the Divine Feminine's mind and their ego is using passion, their passion and understanding their purpose. So their enthusiasm is what's giving them energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to their heart. So they're concentrating on how they can better the world in order to do what they're supposed to do while on this journey. For the both twins, we have the six of wands, so we have that light worker passion that is driving the two beloveds closer to each other in victory. So the six of wands is a victory. So there will be a victory for the union this week. The 5D energy of both twins combined is that their souls know with this peridot that they're breaking free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain. So understanding that all of these things that have popped up on their journey are just bringing them closer together because it's allowing them to learn the lessons associated. And their 3D, so both twins in the 3D, are understanding that they need to protect themselves with this char white crystal spiritually and knowing that they are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and utter energetically by the divine. So we have the Kuan Yin here and we have Archangel Michael. So Archangel Michael is a protector of twin flames, letting us know that this situation is already resolved. And then Kuan Yin, Kuan Yin the female polarity or feminine polarity um, representing the divine here is letting us know that she is bringing us peace, prosperity, and success if we're devoted to the divine, that our sole purpose includes healing and empowerment of the divine feminine, the yin empress herself. 
So we gain power, assistance, and untold blessings in following our soul purpose. So that's what the Divine Feminine is concentrating on in the 3D is the soul purpose. And basically, we're lifted and supported in our work now. Kuan Yin wants to let us know to be at peace and we will thrive. Again, with the Archangel Michael, who I usually close out the reading with. We're going to end the reading with me sending you Reiki healing for yourself and your beloved and your union during this portal so that the two of you may walk together through the gateway that we all, all twin flames may walk together through this energetic gateway coming up the 1212 portal in unity and realize that instead of divided, we are one together and that's how we will be victorious. So let's give any worries, cares and concerns to Archangel Michael and just be in peace this week. Thank you for listening. Archangel Michael, thank you for guiding us. Many blessings to all of you. Namaste.